What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at Windows 10 Home I picked up at Best Buy for $139. After tax it came out to about $150. Out of 5 stars it gets 4.5. Out of 353 customer reviews, Today I figured we would do just a little bit of an unboxing and an installation of Windows 10 Home. I'm currently running Windows 10 ISO through Boot Camp on my iMac. I wanted to make Windows official and get a product key and use the full version of Windows 10 Home so that I can make changes to programs. Uh, I'm actually in the process of starting a business with my dad. Uh, so you never know, I might need Windows to run some sort of program and so, you know, why not make it official today and just bite the bullet and pay the $139. But like I said, I want to make Windows official. So I figured um, I would pick up Windows 10 Home at Best Buy. Uh, the reason I'm making this video, it really should be pretty simple to download and install Windows 10. I'm sh pretty sure most of you can figure that out. But the reason I'm making this video today is because I think this comes as a USB drive. And what's interesting is, as you'll note, I already have Windows 10 Home installed, I just need the product key. So, or is it gonna make me uh, uninstall and reinstall Windows uh, from this USB thumb drive? Uh, pretty simple box, it's just Windows 10 Home, creativity, productivity, fun. Uh, what I wanted to point out was, um, you do get Windows Hello, you get what's called Microsoft Photos, you get what's called Game Bar, um, a virus wall and internet protections to safeguard against viruses, malware, and ransomware. Uh, what I'm most interested in is will Windows Hello work on Mac? Not quite sure uh, if it's like proprietary Microsoft technology or if it's just some code and it goes through the webcam. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that Windows Hello will work. Uh, either way, you're going to need a gigabyte of RAM for a 32-bit system or two gigabytes of RAM for a 64-bit system. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and um, just get into this packaging here. The unwrapping and unboxing, I guess you could say, and first impressions of our Windows 10 Home uh, kit here. Not quite sure how this comes out, but it just comes out like that. Um, and then it looks like it flips open and you get um, a product key right here, which is exactly what I was looking for. So we get a product key. Uh, that's really nice. It, you get a little uh, pamphlet that says, welcome to Windows 10. Uh, it doesn't come out, it looks like. And then it looks like you get this uh, flash drive in the box itself. What we're gonna do is we're actually going to uh, plug in the USB hard drive and just see what process that takes us through. So uh, we can go ahead and just plug it into the back of the machine there. And then we can basically select uh, what, what to do with this removable drive so we can configure storage settings or open folder to view files. Let's open folder to view files. And then we can go to setup here and click yes. Uh, this is the application, this is the setup application. So uh, it's gonna go ahead and prepare this for us and then we can install Windows 10 and uh, click next and it'll check for updates. So uh, I'm assuming it will give us the most updated version of Windows 10 Home before it downloads it. As you can see though, I already have Windows 10 uh, Home set up. So really all I would have to do is just go and type in the product key that's on the back of this card here. But like I said, I wanna take you through the setup process real quick and see what that's like. Uh, applicable notices and license terms. We'll go ahead and it's gonna ask you to accept. And then um, everything, okay, so choose what to keep. Windows 10 set up, this will come up. Okay, so basically, okay, so keep personal files only and keep personal files and apps is grayed out. I don't know why, but it won't let me select uh, 
either of those options. I can only uh, delete everything and then install Windows 10 Home Fresh. I don't want to do that. I already have a couple of programs that I've got up and running. I've got Microsoft Word up and running. I've got uh, a game that I like to play called Prepared, which is a flight simulator. I've got that up and running. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and exit out of that. We're going to quit that. But just to let you know, if you do want to do a setup process from the thumb drive, it's going to be a clean setup. So uh, we're not going to do that. I am just going to go ahead and go to settings, updates and security, activation, and then we're going to click troubleshoot. And then it's going to take us to the Windows store. And then when we go to the store, there's going to be something that said I have, there's going to be, I have a Windows 10 product key. Then we'll click uh, yes. And this will come up on the screen for us to use. So uh, let me go ahead and type this in and then I'll be back with hopefully an activated, fully activated Windows 10 home. Okay, so this little window comes up. It says activate Windows. By activating Windows, you get the best experience, free from interruptions. Absolutely, we want to activate Windows. I typed in the product key. Anyways, guys, that has been an unboxing and a first impressions of Windows 10 Home. Uh, you saw me go through the setup process and uh, put in the product key and basically activate Windows. So I hope that answered any of your questions that you may have had about installing Windows 10 Home on a computer fresh or if you downloaded Windows ISO like I have in Boot Camp and just needed a product key, yeah, I hope I was able to uh, answer some questions for you guys. I hope that was a pretty good video. Because I picked up Windows 10 Home at Best Buy, that does make it a big box good. I suppose if you downloaded Windows 10 Home offline off of windowsstore.com, that would make it a convenience good. However, because I picked it up at Best Buy, that makes it a big box good. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed that unboxing and first impressions. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.